Hi guys, it's Laura. Um, I am about two, less than two weeks out from the Arnold Classic. It's actually, well, two weeks yesterday at 10 p.m. So we're competing on uh, Thursday uh, the 27th at uh, 10 p.m. at night. So uh, it's going to be one of the big stresses just because it's uh, later at night. Usually I compete really early in the morning or around 5 p.m. I know it may not seem like a lot but when you're dehydrating and when you're cutting down calories and everything is timing uh, it makes a huge difference so it's either a hit or miss for some people. Um, I don't dehydrate a lot um, meaning that I play with my water but nothing to uh, an extreme. I still will drink water uh, right up to the competition because when you carb load, when you have to load up in carbs, how you load your muscle is basically water in carbs. So if you don't have that water, you're not loading up that muscle as much as you can, but you don't want to drink too much to overdo it either. So. It's very technical and that's honestly one of the reasons, one of the things that I love about competing is to see my, yeah, my physique change, but also seeing the difference in um, playing with those little components. I love it. Although it is tiring, um, my energy levels aren't so high, I, although I have a lot of people around me that are completely understanding what I'm going through and that are helping me a lot and that aren't putting too much pressure on me. <laughs> so um, I'm getting about... What I've changed in the last week is more my fat intake, so I've decreased the fat intake. I only have it in the morning. Um, what happened this week, our microwave broke, um, which Monday nights I find really hard because Doe is my husband now, is playing uh, hockey on Monday nights, so I'm home alone. And I, at nighttime I feel like that's when I, I would have the most cravings. So having him next to me, I don't even think about it. I don't even need to, to eat or whatever. But when I'm sitting by myself, it's really hard. So I just decided to go to bed instead. <laughs> but by going to bed, I was like, oh, I can't wait tomorrow morning. I'm going to have my oatmeal. It's the best day. It's the best meal of the day. It's my breakfast. So I wake up in the morning and our microwave is dead. So obviously the, my, my, my husband says, well, I'll just boil water or whatever, but it's just not the same thing. It's just not the same thing. And when you're in a contest prep, it has to be the same thing. It has to taste the same thing, what you expect, because those calories are precious. So I don't want to throw them away on, on gross oatmeal. So anyways, all this to say is that I was forced to eat my quark in the morning. So it's it's meal that's more, um, there's no carbs to it. It's a cheese quark cheese um, and I hate eating it. The, I try and limit the times that I have to eat it before the competition um, but since the microwave hasn't been working since Tuesday I've been having quark every morning and honestly I see quite a big of a difference um, in my physique. Like I drop, That means that I drop carbs and fat. Um, I do have my oatmeal or I have a, more of a pancake in the afternoon so I have a little bit of oatmeal in there, but I replaced most of my oatmeal with pumpkin puree, um, egg white, uh, protein, vanilla protein. You put it in the blender with some, um, sometimes some Splenda and some uh, cinnamon, and I make that a pancake, and it's wonderful in my mouth, especially when you're in a diet. It, it tastes like pumpkin pie, so it's really good. Um, so that's my afternoon snack, so it kind of keeps me going for my, my clients at night or for my CrossFit classes at night. Uh, if I'm not doing much at night, then I may not have carbs um, in the afternoon just because I'll have carbs more around when I'm the more most active. Um, the other carbohydrates that I'll have are rice cakes around my training, so I should have about three rice cakes with a protein scoop um, after my training. My trainings are going really well, actually, since I, uh, I work in a gym, so I'm at work right now. Um, but I would do my... Um, classes so I will do the actual classes with them and I give about three classes a day um, so three classes a day plus a workout it's a lot of working out so that's why it's probably my body's talking to me I'm completely tired um, but it's crunch time it's less than two weeks to the Arnold Classic so I, there's not very many people that can say that they're preparing for the Arnold Classic so I'm really lucky just to go um, to live the experience to see my physique change and to be able to 
have this physique with everything that went down in the last couple of months with Christmas, um, with the wedding prep, which was a lot of stress. Um, actually going down south for a whole week. Um, I am more than happy than w where my physique is right now, and it's actually shown me and teach me a lot about myself. Um, that I do put a lot of pressure on myself. I do love um, being having a little bit of, uh, of of goals or being more stressed. Yes, but um, I do stress a lot for no reason. So uh, it shows me that. I do have that lifestyle that I'm able to compete no matter what and that I, I, uh, I can achieve basically anything that I want if I put my mind to it and I, I really do think that the body achieves what the mind believes. That's probably one of the biggest things that I can say is that uh, determination can do whatever you want and that if you really want it, it's going to happen. Either in, the worst thing that I'm feeling right now is fatigue so if that's the only thing like that, that's the bad, um, I'll take it, honestly. So um, right now I'm trying to maintain the physique. I'm seeing it every morning. I'm, I'm feeling really small, so I, I kind of want to keep that volume because I'm going against girls that are pretty big. Um, but my posing, I've been practicing every day. So that's one of the big things that I wanted to change as well is practice more posing and holding the poses because last competition we had to hold those poses for quite a long time and uh, I hadn't prepared for that. So yeah, you're on, on stage adrenaline, you're just going to hold that pose, but I really want to maximize it because the posing, if you have a good physique, good, like obviously that's what we want. But if your posing is really bad, you don't maximize and you don't show off what you have worked on for all these months. So you have to make that posing as good as it can. So I've been practicing a lot. I've been looking at Nicole Wilkins, um, her posing a lot. She's the person that I want to look like. Um, I love it because you look at her in an everyday life. She looks feminine, muscular, but when she poses, it's just like this back comes out of her and these shoulders are just crazy nice. So ideally, that's what I would like to look like eventually. Um, but she's in her 30s. So, well, I think she just turned 30. And uh, so I still have a couple of years to catch up, but I do have probably other priorities coming up. Um, I do want to live my life with fitness, but I do want to live my life, you know, build a family and um, not too soon, but it is in the near future and uh, it's something that's important to me is to do fitness, but also have a nice life with uh, a nice social and family life around that as well. So anyways, that's, that's plans for the uh, next couple of years, but I'll keep you updated on that. Um, so I will do a nice video next week. So next, right now we're Friday, so in five days I'm going to be starting my uh, depletion week, which isn't really different than what I'm doing right now, honestly. So um, I'm anxious to see that, but I'm, that's when I'm starting to play with my water, so my physique will change a lot. So anyways, I'll keep you updated on that, and I'll hopefully try and do some videos next week. Well, I will, and uh, keep you updated on what... What is, it, what is coming on? So I, I am going to put pictures probably up on Facebook or on our website uh, about my competition prep, so poses and all that. So hopefully you get an, a better idea of where I'm at. And I'll try and compare posing of uh, the Canadians because I, I put two pictures up and it's crazy the difference that I, I've gained a lot of muscle in my back um, since the last competition. And I have a feeling it has to do with CrossFit. So I'm anxious to see the two different physiques. My weight right now is about 137, which is 7 pounds more than last competition, but my fat is exactly the same right now, so that means that it's really good. I gain muscle. Um, my goal is to be 135, so I'm pretty much going to be under 135 just because of the water um, dehydration, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Anyways, so uh, with that, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.